This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So we're going to be taking a look at Mojo here. I have him temporarily as part of the content creator program. And we are going to first take a look at his attributes here. And we can see that he has really high uh, crit damage rating. Uh, I think that's a decent crit rate of 14%. Uh, however, I'm not liking his armor rating and his block proficiency. Those seem to be a bit low. And as we will see in a moment, he also gets a reduction in physical resistance. Uh, you can see the champion tags here. Uh, this is a rank three. That's what we get for the content creator program if you are a cavalier. Let's take a look at his synergies. Uh, the first synergy is with long shot. I do not have a long shot yet in any form. I went for the three and the four star, so hopefully I'll have one. 50% chance not to lose followers when failing a prompt. We've got this next one here. It's with Psylocke. And when the opponent completes a prompt, Mojo steals 10% of their current power. Now that's actually pretty useful, and you'll see why with Mojo's power gain. Any extra power gain is nice. All right, then we have this one. I like this one. Heavy attacks incinerate the opponent. Now, if you remember Mojo, his heavy attacks incinerate impo opponents, and I like that. It's been very helpful to me, especially when I'm fighting someone who doesn't want to fire off their special. So, this synergy actually is a nice one. And Modoc, he's not so bad. You know, he's fun to play. Then we've got this one. When a prompt is completed, Mojo gains an unstoppable buff for five seconds. That is very nice. And both of these champions, Gladiator Hulk and Korg, are decent. I would, of course, bring Gladiator Hulk most times. But that's a nice synergy. I like that synergy, all right? And then down here, we've got synergies that Mojo has with himself. Yeah, that cracks me up. He has a romance with himself. Uh, so 5% power gain. He needs it. And the 7% offensive power rate. All champions except Mojo. All right. So, in case you were thinking you might get some extra power gain there, no. Let's take a look at his signature ability. I'm not going to go into it. It looks like you get more damage. That's the bottom line. All right, you can read it for yourself. Now, look at this passive here. He gains 30% less power from landing hits. Remember I told you that power gain will be very useful? And physical resistance decreased by 352.94. So he's going to be taking uh, more damage. And his block proficiency is already, you know, kind of low. So, yeah, not looking good for Mojo. Now, this is something that I think is unique to Mojo. Uh, the closest one that I can think about right now is Taskmaster, where you are prompted to do certain actions, but he has these prompts, and he will get them randomly throughout the fight. Now, the thing is, with Taskmaster, you have to complete the prompt. With Mojo, you or your opponent has to complete the prompt. So, with his low block proficiency and physical uh, resistance uh, reduction, say you got the prompt for block a hit. 
and you're thinking, oh man, I do not want to block a hit with Mojo, especially if you're going to take him into some high level content. But remember, it's you block a hit or they block a hit. So you just have to get them to block and start punching them and the prompt is completed. Okay, you will gain 1 million followers and more on the followers later, but what that means. Uh, now, if a prompt expires without being completed, you lose 5 million followers. When a prompt is completed, you'll also, in addition to gaining 1 million followers, you will activate this anti-life field for seven seconds. And we'll talk more about that in a moment. Uh, he'll receive a new prompt when the anti-life field expires or a prompt is failed. So fail a prompt, lose followers, and you'll get a new prompt. All right. Uh, prompts are paused during any special attack and they're unaffected by ability accuracy. So here, let's talk about this anti-life field. So when that field is up, any buff on the opponent when it's triggered, so that means buffs that the opponent already has when the anti-life field uh, is activated, do not, this doesn't apply. It's not going to speed them up once you activate the anti-life field. But if they trigger a buff while the anti-life field is active, then it's going to have a 90% reduced duration. All right, and any time a buff is nullified or expires, and remember, it's going to be 90% reduction in uh, their duration, any time it nu is nullified or expires, Mojo is going to passively degen them. That degen is vicious, and I believe it has to do with his attack. So the uncollected mode mojo is of course beefed up so that dgen is crazy don't expect to see that dgen elsewhere all right and dexing that counts as a buff during his anti-life field i made a video on how to fight mojo uh so you can check that out uh if you like and that goes into a little bit of that all right and the anti-life field is paused during any special attack now, he also has this audience adoration. All right, he gains an additional, he, well, he gains additional passive abilities uh, based on the followers. Remember, I mentioned we would talk about these followers. So at 1 million followers, anytime a buff expires or is nullified, he's going to also heal 3% of his missing health. That can be useful if you're running suicides to take um, heal up the uh, recoil damage. So it makes him a little suicide friendly. At 3 million followers, when a prompt is completed, he's going to gain 50% of a bar of power based on how many followers he has. Remember, he doesn't get uh, a lot of power from hitting. He gets some, but not a lot. So any of that is great. All right. At 5 million Completing a prompt has a 100% chance to place a hater buff on the opponent for 20 seconds. Basic attacks have a 15% chance to place one. Haters have no effect. But if it's a buff, remember what he does when buffs expire. Okay, so you're starting to see that synergy. You want more followers. There doesn't seem to be a big reason to get more than 5 million except that it'll make it more forgiving. Remember, if you fail a prompt, you're going to lose followers. So if you're gaining followers, you know, say you have 10 million followers, if you fail a prompt, you'll still have the 5 million, you can get the other one. So that's about the only reason that I could see. Heavy attacks will replace your prompt with a new one. So if you see a prompt, and you're like, oh, man, I'm not going to be able to get that one. And you're quick enough because the prompt doesn't last very long. Uh, you know, say you saw the prompt and you're like, oh, I can't do that one. Parry, heavy. You get a new prompt. Okay. And here are his special attacks. Uh, special attack one, 
100% chance on the first hit to nullify one buff. So keep in mind, if he has those buffs, even the hater buffs, then you fire that special one off, you're going to get that nullify. Uh, special attack two, this will trigger the degen for the anti-life field. Okay, if the anti-life field is not active, it just triggers the degen. If the anti-life field is active, it'll trigger the degen for every million followers that Mojo has up to 5 million. So the special attack two will do more degen damage if you have more followers, okay? And the special attack three, it'll complete the current prompt and it'll trigger the anti-life field degeneration for every million followers up to 5 million, similar to the special two, except it will complete the prompt. All right. And finally, here is a list of the possible prompts. Activate a special, charge a heavy attack, dash backwards, block a hit, uh, use dexterity to avoid a hit, hold block for 1.5 seconds, inflict a stun. When any buff expires or is nullified, that one could be, you know, they have a buff, you get that prompt, if you have a special one, you can complete the prompt by just hitting that special one. Back into a corner, idle for one second, punish a special attack by striking the opponent while they're recovering from an attack. If you fight with Killmonger, that's one of the ways you can get his true strike up, is to do that. And finally, knock down an opponent. All right, so now we're going to go into Realm of Legends uh, he doesn't get a lot of buffs, so we're not going to see that. But I want you to see his animations, and I'll get a feel for, you know, how much damage uh, he takes while he's blocking uh, and that sort of thing. All right. So we'll be right back. All right. I'm back. And here's the team that I'm going in here with. Also, bear in mind, I am running suicide, so that's going to impact the damage numbers you see. Uh, but I've activated five of Mojo's synergies and we can take a look at each of the synergies here i don't have long shot so i can't activate the first one so we have that one that one that one that one and that one all right and the reason i have korg is because my gladiator hulk is in war right now but for synergy purposes i just wanted to bring him in all right, so we're going to try out Mojo. I have not fought with Mojo at all. So this will be the first time I am fighting with him, seeing his animations here. All right, see, whole block. I saw that prompt. All right. All right, charge a heavy attack. And you see I charged the heavy and I got the anti-life field up. Here's a special one. All right. Here we go. And now I'll work up to a special two. All right. And you saw that. Um, you'll just have to watch the prompts. There's a lot going on. But that's why I have the unstoppable and the anti-life field is up. All right. Dash backwards. Got the field up again. Here, let's fire off that special two. Okay, he's got that degen on him. This is what his heavy looks like. Okay, you see I do the incinerate because of the uh, synergy with Modoc. All right. But I can already see he takes quite a bit of damage. I'm just trying to block a little bit. See, just look at this. Yeah, he's taking quite a bit of damage here. All right. Now we're going to see his special three. Come on. Just wanted to do that one more time. All right. Let's see what his special three looks like. <laughs> Cute. All right. 
So that's pretty much the animations of Mojo. Uh, obviously, I think he's going to do much better against someone that has buffs. Let's see, fire off that special two. Okay. You can see the little degen damage he's got going on. Um, I got a little bit of a regen here. But, yeah. He seems to take quite a bit of damage. I don't know if I would go for him in the arena. But, yeah. He's probably not the champion for me. If he goes low, maybe I would. But, yeah. I don't know. His damage is not horrible. You know, it's not really that bad. He does have a little bit of a, a regen with him. So, you know, that's something. But I just think he takes a little bit too much damage. Look at that. Yeah, he just takes too much damage to me. There we go. Get some incinerate on you. Alright. Yeah, I finished another prompt. I held, uh... He stunned me there. <laughs> Alright. Let's fire off, uh... Special 3 again. We won't have a full kill. But... Just getting a feel for him. I think he will do better against, uh... Folks that have... A lot of, uh buffs and they generate a lot of buffs yeah see just look at that that's just a lot of damage and at first I was having a little bit of trouble um, that'll be it for us uh, I was having a little trouble uh, parrying with him but it's probably because I just haven't gotten used to his uh, animations, but after 200 hits, it wasn't a lot of damage. So, I don't know. I'm not, uh, I'm not feeling Mojo right now. Now, it could be that I'm just not playing him right, because I'm still learning him. I didn't get a, a lot of time to really play around with him, and this fight is not going to be the best for him. Uh, someone like, for example, Colossus, uh, would do better as a showcase for what he can do because Colossus is going to get those armor up buffs uh, and going to get a lot of degen because of it. So a champion that, you know, relies on a lot of buffs, that's a great opponent for Mojo. Otherwise, I'm probably going to use others. Anyway, that's going to do it, guys, for the video. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned a little bit uh, about Mojo. Uh, I also think he's got quite a bit going on with the prompts and everything. It's it's a lot. It's a lot to deal with. And I just don't think it's, it's worth it. After you do all these prompts and everything, it just doesn't seem worth it to me. But that's just my first impressions. I could be wrong. We'll find out later. Uh, but anyway, take care. And you all... Have a blessed day.